P-tip with a quick download. Yes, we do. Now that everyone's seen the inside of me, I'll just try to regain my dignity and move on. Is your internet connection running as smoothly as it should be? Chances are no, even if you think it is. Many Windows network settings are actually configured for low speeds for dial-up, so you might be lagging if you have a high-speed connection. Who knew? Today's free download tweaks your settings according to your connection type. It's called TCP Optimizer, and it runs on any current version of Windows. So we're talking 95, ME, XP, NT. Everybody wins. Woo! 3-1? So, what's that? 3-1? No. Not 3-1. Okay. Not 3-1. You said that's Sorry. a version of Windows. Not 3 -1. Will you be quiet? Okay, sorry. All right. Anyway, here we are looking at CCP Optimizer. Now, it's just an executable. You don't even have to install it, so that's kind of nice. I, I haven't run into one of those lately. What you do, here's the easy way to use it. You've got these choices up here at the top. Dial-up, DSL, DSL, PPPoE, cable modem, or extreme. We're on a T1 here, so I'll just say extreme. And we've got all of these settings here. And if you're, if you're just going to use the optimizer uh, the way they want you to use it, they don't even want you to care about what, what these settings are. They just want to know what kind of connection do you have? It will choose your network adapter. Um, we've you know, got a few choices in here, but it's saying this is, this is what you're using, and these are the choices that we've made for you based on what we've selected. And now here down at the bottom, I've got a few choices here. Current settings, optimal settings, and custom settings. I'm on the current settings, so you see a bunch of settings that are grayed out. These are my current settings, but if I choose optimal, um, I've actually already gone through this, so my optimal settings are exactly the same as my current settings, but they might not be if you were to, if you were to install uh, the TCP optimizer. And if your current settings don't match your optimal settings, well, there you go. You obviously want to make them optimal, right? Because that is what's going to help, uh, 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 what's the word? Latency. That's the word. I actually learned that recently. So. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So optimal settings, once you have your optimal settings, you can just apply your changes. What that's going to do is make a bunch of changes in your registry. This program doesn't do anything too crazy except change a lot of things in your registry that you might, you, don't, you might not know where they are, you might not know how to find them. Anyway, if you choose custom settings, now this is where it gets a little bit trickier. Um, I really don't recommend you do this unless you're familiar with TCP IP settings. Um, I am really not mu you know, much of an expert, so I didn't screw around with this at all. You know, time to live, black hole detect, max duplicate, ACKs, all that stuff. You may know a lot about that, and that, th this gives you the option to tweak it yourself. Um, up in the top, there's a few more tabs. You've got other settings to optimize Internet Explorer, how many connections you have per server, um, so on and so forth. Uh, you can, you know, ch check ping times on you know, a variety of sites. And then in the registry area, here is, it gives you a, a nice option to tweak the registry through this interface. As you've seen, I've done a lot of registry tweaks. It can be a little crazy. This just gives you a different uh, interface, basically. Now, like I said, the optimizer is totally free, totally rocks the house on any system. So either you spiff up your internet experience considerably, or you're just going to find out that you're already OK. It's a pretty much a win-win situation. So go to my download of the day article at thescreensavers.com. Get it for yourself and report back to me. Are you good or are you lagging? That's it from me, guys. What's coming up? I saw, I've seen a lot of this stuff happening in DSL reports. They have all these little registry tweaks mm -hmm. that you can do that supposedly speed up your system. This seems like this application, it kind of has it built in.